before I get into this amazing episode of Times Square Kung Fu, I have to give a massive shout out to two contributors to this channel. Andy from Tokyo, Japan, who provided me screen caps to the Hong Kong Blu-ray of Undeclared War, and to Peter, my homeboy from Connecticut, who lent me his copy for the sake of this video. Now, when I downloaded um, Andy's pictures on Google Drive, for some reason they came out a little soft, but I kid you not folks, it doesn't look that soft when you actually see the Blu-ray. Now, this Vinegar Syndrome release is region free, it is stated on the website, that's right, it is region free. If you want to know more about this fantastic film, I find it fantastic, of this Ringo Lamp classic, Will from Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society, who is a friend of the channel, did an amazing 17 minute review on this film. I will link that in the description. And now, let's get on to this amazing comparison, yo. Let's get into it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the Vinegar Syndrome really seems to be slightly zoomed in compared to the Hong Kong Blu-ray. Now, I don't know the reasoning behind that. I would definitely ask Vinegar Syndrome what was the rationale for it. But once they give me some info, I will definitely re relay that back to you guys on Twitter or right here on YouTube. And also, two different vibes going on, man. I'm like, whoa, man. And again, they both fit the tone of the film. But of course, I love certain shots more in the Hong Kong Blu-ray, like this shot right here. I just love the way it looks. It definitely gives you that feeling like it's cold and gritty out there, you know what I mean? And I like some of the inside shots of the Vinica Syndrome release, like this shot right here. They did one heck of a job. Love the blacks, love the pop of the picture. Like um, one of the shots that I posted early, um, one of the last shots that I showed, with them falling off and you see the Hong Kong, you know, street neon signs. That looks totally fantastic. Also, this release is region free, like I mentioned before, has amazing extras and an amazing commentary track by Simon Deegan. And I highly recommend listening to that track, man. The way she starts it off, where I give you a little insight into the director, uh, where the genre was at during that point in time, especially in his career and the references she throws down, it is a straight banger. Definitely check that out. And once again, there's a region-free Blu-ray. 
I didn't do a subtitle comparison because I felt it wasn't necessary. If you guys are not aware, Hong Kong Blu-rays are notoriously known not to have accurate subs and some grammar errors. And yeah, there was no point in the audio on both of these releases. They're solid. They're definitely solid. The Vanilla Syndrome one has a DTS track and uh, Hong Kong Blu-ray has uh, W2HD, both on compressed formats. So yeah, folks, man, there you have it, man. I hope you find the video informative. And as always, like, share, and wait a minute. One second, I say I have an announcement, and that announcement is I'll be launching a Patreon soon this very month. I'm going to give more details on Twitter sometime next week to let you know, guys, what's the deal, because many people ask me about Patreon, and I've been thinking about it. And I had to make it just right just for everyone else out there because this Patreon is definitely going to contribute to the community because this channel is also community run like I mentioned previously and also an abundance of times on Twitter, man. So yeah, man, I want to get back to you guys on that, alright? And as always, like, share, and subscribe and until the next one. Peace.